It's time to start collecting your household hazardous materials from garages, kitchens, and closets and bring it down to the Guam Salaways Authority's new household hazardous waste facility as the Harmon Residential Transfer Station is now open. According to District Court Chief Judge Francis Tideco Gatewood, this represents a cost-effective disposal and recycling facility. This new residential transfer station will offer a low-cost way to properly dispose of trash. This new facility replaces the one that is the, the one that closed when the audit dump closed its operations. The opening of this facility is crucial to the 2004 ORDOT consent decree, as Judge Gatewood says that by recycling to the maximum extent possible and only disposing of the waste that is not recyclable at transfer stations in Harmon, Dededo, Agate, and Malolo, residents will pay a fraction of the cost of curbside recycling. Um, recycling is always free at any residential transfer station. Uh, the, this new facility also offers a sa safer way to dispose of household hazardous waste as is required. This is a requirement by the consent decree. Among the requirements of the consent decree is for Gov Guam to create the capacity to collect and properly dispose of household hazardous waste on island. Household hazardous waste are products such as paints, cleaners, oils, and pesticides that contain potentially hazardous materials when you dispose of them. Judge Gatewood says that in the past, Guam EPA had occasionally collected and disposed of these materials, but Guam has never before had a regular program to handle such waste on a regular basis. This new program is available only at this new facility, and it will offer the service free of charge to Guam's households. Business and governmental and other private organizations Organizations should contact the Guam Solid Waste Authority or GIPA, Guam Environmental Protection Agency, for advice on how they should dispose of such materials. She says that there is no doubt that this is a milestone in the implementation of the consent decree. As I've indicated just a few minutes ago, the end of the receivership is in sight. I mean, we're almost close to the finish line. 11 months from now, I mean, that's what I've approved. That timeline has been approved. Government of Guam wants the receivers out ASAP. I don't blame them. They want to take over, and they, they, and they probably should. Judge Gatewood says there are other looming issues that she will be addressing in court and will be issuing guidance in the future on how the remaining requirements of the consent decree will be addressed. But the opening of this facility is one item they can check off their list. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovis.